Welcome back, travelers. We're here on a screen on your screen. Thank you for clicking on this. This is going to be us doing our favorite Christmas movies, and I'm going first. Yes. I don't watch a lot of Christmas movies, so we'll see what we got here. Yeah, let's see what happens. Basically, the way it breaks down is this. Joe is going to tech, talk about his top 10 favorite movies, and we're not going to like duplicate. So there's not going to be 15 different versions of Christmas Carol, partially because of the top 10, but also... Okay, cut. Let me add my list a bit. But yeah, basically, he, we're going to just go through those Home Alone 1, 2, 3. That's all just Home Alone. And we're going to talk about... Okay, top cut 10. again. With this top 10, Joe, take it away. Okay. So there are still two versions of the Christmas Carol, because number 10 is going to be the Muppets Christmas Carol because I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, Ricky got a voice acting role. This is amazing. And then I realized Ricky wasn't actually a Muppet. My whole world got shaken up a bit, but it still made the list because I've seen so much. I'm a Muppet of a man. (laughs) Thank you for being a voice actor, Ricky. Number nine is the Polar Express. Of course it is. Because I love the book. The movie was not as well portrayed. The movie was a bit terrifying. Do you mean the dead-eyed everyone? That is exactly what I mean. I made a horror movie of one of my favorite books. Because my uh, first grade teacher, who I loved, always read it to us back in first grade. Uh, What do you mean by always? How many times did you take first grade? (laughs) (laughs) She read it like three times during that December. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it was like, okay, we're going to talk about the Polar Express. That's nice. You see, uh, at church, um, working with the kids... We would actually we actually had Polar Express play, and then we would give them hot chocolate during the hot chocolate scene, and they loved it. And I didn't understand why they loved this this movie. It was because they were just waiting for the hot chocolate scene. It's terrifying. That's awesome. <laughs> it is absolutely terrifying. Okay, number eight is a Christmas Carol. Ah, uh, yes. Which one? Specifically, the Daffy Duck one. Of course, it is. Okay, I can accept that. Interesting. Always love Looney Tunes. I am a Looney Tune. You are pretty Looney. You can tell because my hair is basically part of my shirt today. It's true. I don't know why my lighting is this bad. That. Oh, uh, you're wearing a Tarbuck shirt, right? Yeah, that's uh, the child's real name, Tarbuck. Tarbuck. He's had some really terrifying eyes with this lighting. Like th- there's no animation. Like there's no like glimmer of life. They just look like two empty holes in his face. I don't think there's any design there. I think it's just leading. No, there's design there, but yeah. And then, of course, mine is much more appropriately a uh, Jimmy Chong Miss sweater. Yeah. I unfortunately didn't have any Christmas sweaters. Number seven is Jingle All the Way. Ah, uh, yes. It is a hilarious movie. I only saw it actually recently for the first time. Put the cookie down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop back at my parents' place. There was nothing else on TV. I'm just like, okay, I'll give this a watch. Oh my God, it's amazing. It is. It's so good. That was one of the best movies I've ever seen. (laughs) Why have I never seen this before? Because what's the password? Jingle bells. Batman smells. (laughs) It's the Grinch. I watched a couple more Christmases after that. And then, uh, yeah, and then I moved back here. So That makes sense. Didn't have cable anymore. (laughs) I need to get it on DVD or something. It's an amazing movie. It's really good. Number six is Elf. Ah, yes, of course. Elf. Classic. Beautiful. Gotta have the two comedies right there in a row. And Elf is just probably one of the first comedy Christmas movies I ever saw. There's the whole fact that there there was like a, the Central Park, like the, those, those horsemen who were permanently put on the naughty list. <laughs> it's like, that's just a weird story bit to add, but it explains why they're so mad at you. And you always got to love a giant Will Ferrell elf trying to sit on Santa's lap. Oh my gosh, yes. Sitting on the on his on Papa Elf's lap. Yes. It's so good. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Or him trying to take a shower with a tiny with a tiny shower head. He's just splashing the water up. <laughs> okay, we're in my top 5 now. These ones have more story behind them just because of when I saw them. That makes sense. They're probably not good movies in their own, but for nostalgic purposes they are my favorite Christmas movies. That's understandable. No, because number 5 is terrible. What do you mean? Number five is the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. (laughs) Once we got into the valley, those are the first Christmas movies I started watching with my parents. Interesting. My dad loves just like slapstick, terrible comedy. He loves Tim Allen. That's fair. We always watched Home Improvement together when it was on Nick at Night. So we watched the Tim Allen Christmas movies. I thought they were amazing. 
So I still watch them. They aren't amazing. They're actually, <laughs> <laughs> but they're still part of my top five Christmas list because <laughs> they've just been part of my Christmas for so long. Th- those that should be considered. I think like if they remade that, it'd be a great remake as a horror film. <laughs> I I could make that. Do you mean the movies where he starts by murdering Santa? <laughs> He starts by murdering Santa, then he transmogrifies <laughs> into the Claus himself, then he has to kidnap a woman and make her into a Mrs. Claus. I acknowledge they're terrible, but they've been part of my Christmas for so long. They're just up. They are my number five. Uh, number four. This one is on the list because of what I call the Bulbasaur Syndrome. Uh, it is a Christmas Carol because it is one of Ariel's favorite movies. Not a Christmas Carol. What am I talking about? Nightmare Before Christmas. That makes more sense. I was going to say, I don't think she likes Christmas Carol at all. I looked at the wrong spot on the list. Nightmare Before Christmas. And again, it's because I shop for so much stuff for Ariel for holidays and stuff. I got to really think it out. I look into so much Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is why it's called the Bulbasaur Syndrome. It's her favorite Pokemon. And then Nightmare Before Christmas. She has a bunch of Sally's, Jack's, Zeros on her shelf. Because I've looked into it. I'm just like... Let me watch this movie. Oh, it's amazing. Plus, it's in Kingdom Hearts. It's one of the best levels in Kingdom Hearts. It is a very cool level in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I was playing the Kingdom Hearts rhythm game. The only one I've perfected in the hardest difficulty so far is This Is Halloween. Really? Yeah. It's got a good rhythm. I can see it. It's amazing. I'm sure you can now sing the entire song now, though. (laughs) You know, for a channel where we play video games, I'm really bad at video games. (laughs) Number three is the Home Alone franchise. Naturally fantastic film my mom puts them on every christmas it's my mom's top favorite like not even christmas movie i think it's her top favorite movies they have good build-up it's a little much after like the fifth time you watch it it's like okay we're building up we're building up when does the guy get hit in the face with an anvil yeah Let's you're, just, make you're waiting happen. for the paint cans you're waiting for the paint cans go that's one that's two and just the satisfying ending when they get taken away with their burnt up beanie and burnt hands or burnt face number two how the Grinch Stole Christmas. If anybody knows me, they know I'm an immense Dr. Seuss fan. Which one? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's, okay. Good choice. Very good choice. I have some memories of seeing movies in theaters. That's good. When I was little back in Austin. <laughs> but oh, I think okay. that was one of the last ones we saw back in Austin before we moved up here to the, or moved down here to the valley. Yeah, this is not up. <laughs> Isn't that this even is not from anywhere. That's cool. uh, yeah, I love Dr. Seuss, so that's why we had to go see The Grinch in theaters. Uh, me and my mom and my dad, we loved it. This is back when it was just me and my mom and my dad. We, I didn't have my little sister my little brother yet. Uh, yeah, we didn't get to go to movies often. I think the last one we saw before that was Monsters, Inc. So that's it's been a while. <laughs> it's got snow in it. That one scene. True. Super Christmas. Any abominable <laughs> snowman. I mean, Mean Girls is considered a Christmas movie. Because of that one scene where they, they're dancing. Oh, yeah, that episode of The Office where they have Christmas is considered a Christmas movie. Yeah, exactly. That one time in, in The Passion of the Christ where they show him get born. It's a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of an Easter movie, I'd say. But, you know, that's just semantics. Or semantics, I'm not sure. My number one Christmas movie. The movie I cannot go Christmas without seeing. A Charlie Brown Christmas. Why a Charlie Brown Christmas, Joe? It's something I've watched every year for as long as I can remember. I can't remember going here without watching a Charlie Brown Christmas. It's Charlie Brown. He's the best. He's so Charlie. <laughs> He's not very brown. He's not. He's more like a yellowish shirt kind of guy. Yeah. And I mean, he's got good briefs. That's what he says, right? He's got good briefs. Good grief. Ah, uh, yeah. Which is a great oxymoron. Speaking of oxymorons, thank you, Joe. That was great. <laughs> next up, we have Ricky's turn. Go ahead and tune in next time to see Ricky's favorite Christmas movies. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way through this, let us know in the comments what are your favorite Christmas movies and why it's a Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> if it's not, don't comment. Get off my video. You know what? Comment on whoever's video you like more. <laughs>